Hi Cancer, welcome to your August 2020 Love and General Reading. I am Gemstone Tarot. You are Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Cross Watchers. Everybody is welcome. We are using the Morgan Greer Tarot, or as I like to call it, Smells Like the 70s. This is actually a 70s version of it. Okay. What do my lovely Cancerians need to know for August 2020? Oof. Wow. Major Arcana a go go, Cancer. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm doing a little dance because you got a really nice card. <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, some interesting energy here. I'm going to put those down there. In the middle of your reading, Cancer, the death card. Okay, Scorpionic energy. May go back to the 7th of May when we had a full moon in Scorpio. But essentially, this card right smack bang in the middle of your reading for me is spelling um, transformation. Transformation, change, things radically moving for you. Now this isn't surprising because you've been having the eclipses, haven't you? Two years worth between you and Capricorn of eclipses, seesawing your life in different directions. And I would say <sighs> causing you to break out of certain Cancerian tendencies. Some of this might involve, and it, I've been thinking this for you for a while, some of this might involve um, slightly destructive patterns in romantic relationships. Not because, you know, Cancerians are born for romantic relationships. If any sign of the zodiac was born for that, it's Cancerians, you know you are. Um, you're all about the love, the family, the nurturing, the empathy, the softness, the caring. But sometimes, particularly I think when you combine with air signs and fire signs, there can be imbalances from the way that other people receive it, okay? You've got some difficult cards here, but you're moving through it. And that's what that death card is about. By the way, there is an extended reading to this and the link will be in the description box. You have got the Eight of Swords, things that hold you back, things that keep you restricted. Fear, I would say. Um, any kind of being up in your head. Cancerians don't belong in their head, they belong in their heart. But sometimes because your heart is soft, and kind and very romantic and full of love sometimes that's too much for the kind of world that we live in and you know it that's why you have a shell but sometimes when you get inside that shell cancer you know better than anyone it's quite hard for anyone to find you to find your soft squishy bits but also it's hard sometimes it's much harder for you to get out of the shell okay Nine of Swords, things that you fear, things in your head, things that bind you. Look at this. Two types of binding, feeling bound, feeling trapped. And then, and this is great, the Ten of Swords, where it gets released. Ten of Swords for me is like the minor arcana version of the Death card. It is the... Um, the card of, it's like if you move up through the swords, you get the ace of swords, you get the two of swords where you don't know, the three of swords where you're conflicted, the four of swords where you make peace, the five of swords where it's disrupted, the six where you're trying to escape, the seven which represents betrayals and outside influences, which take you to the eight where your experiences make you feel afraid, the nine where that being afraid turns into overthinking and paranoia and the 10 where you finally purge it. You know, stick a fork in me, I am finally done with this stuff. 
that is what the eclipses have done for you and that is where we are in august Whew, okay what is this making room for the two of cups i know that was why i did the little dance two of cups the aspect for this is venus in cancer which is a beautiful thing okay it's a beautiful thing now hang on getting the old moon diary out for a minute venus enters cancer on the 7th of august i knew it we've got a full moon in aquarius on the third venus enters cancer on the 7th of august okay for you that spells love i love that two of cups okay Thank God for that. We love it. Now, the other thing that's really interesting here is we've got three kings in the reading. I've got the king of swords, so we have an air sign. I got the king of wands, so we've got a fire sign. And I've got the king of pentacles, so we have our earth sign. Okay. There's going to be prospects for you, but for some of you... You're dealing with somebody that has many faces. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords. It's like they're almost, they've been on a revolving, um, you know, like in the fairground where you, you get those um, slot machines that are made up of different people that are cut into, there's a head, there's a body and there's the legs. This That's what this person has been doing. You may be dealing with someone who has chameleon-like qualities. You may be dealing with people, or just this is your relationship history. You may have been dealing with people who are hot and cold, who are on and off, who are changeable. That's not something Cancerians really vibe with, but it's something Cancerians very often attract. You attract people who are less empathetic than you are, who are sometimes plain colder than you are, difficult to know, difficult to open, and then often you spend your time showing them the love, okay? Showing them how it can be. And then there is a certain expectation that they will be able to reciprocate. Well, this has been very complicated for some of you, okay? Then we have here the Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Those of you that watch my daily channel, my daily readings on YouTube, will know that I normally pull two tens together. And when you get the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you can see that you're lifting a burden, that you are reaching a breaking point. So some of you may be breaking up with somebody or have broken up with somebody. Let's get some water. Or you're reviewing your past relationships. But some of you, this Two of Cups is a commitment with somebody but it somehow comes from you finding the strength to put all of this behind you this fear this binding this inability to stand up for yourself this inability to establish boundaries and also cancer an an inability or even just coming to the realization an awakening really because you've got the death card of what you're worth what you are worth and i know that is easy to say you know you get your affirmations you stick them on your fridge i am loved i am special i am amazing you know and you're there going i am loved i am special i am amazing but when you when those when those things really, really get into you, when you learn them body and soul, that you really are absolutely worth it just for getting out of bed, just for being here in the first place, no matter what you do or don't do, changes your perspective. And I think for you, Cancer, that the last couple of years and your experiences, some quite nasty with people, some quite challenging and difficult, have shifted you in those eclipses okay they've shifted you and it's all for the good then we get temperance gorgeous energy learning to go with the flow and what i would say for this cancer is learn to receive notice she pours one cup into another like this 
it's the energy of giving and receiving. You're going to have an opportunity with somebody and it may be somebody who previously was more takey and they're going to be an equal exchange of cups. It's a very equal exchange when you get Venus in Cancer because Cancer knows what to do with Venus. It's like, this is my hometown, you know, here we go. We're exchanging cups. It's uh, Lady in the Tramp spaghetti time. Let's do it, okay? The Emperor. I love this. For some of you, it means that the masculine is going to step up. You've got three kings and an emperor, okay? Those of you that have been dealing with somebody who heretofore, as they say, has been a bit absent or a bit missing or a bit lax or a bit emotionally unresponsive, you may well find that that person finds a new lease of life. Equally, you may find that if you're in a situation where it is really damaging to you, where it is really destructive, that you drop, you drop the burden. Okay, you literally don't want to do it anymore. For some of you, it's only when you drop that burden that the other person comes out of their shell and realises what they've lost. But they only realise what they've lost when you realise who you are and how much you're worth, okay? It's a simultaneous thing. This is interesting. Where are my Romance Angel Oracle cards? In the extended reading, Cancer, I'm going to look at the other person. How do they feel? What are the shadows? What are the obstructions? What's standing in the way? What can you do? What are the insecurities? What do we need to look out for? I'm not surprised to see that. Pay attention to the red flags. Now, you will be doing that anyway, but I think you've been doing that for the last two years. I don't think that's suddenly going to happen. Yeah, I like this. Nice. Okay. Getting to know each other. You two will be getting to know each other on a deeper level than ever before. Some of you, this relationship may have been kept in a superficial status by the other person not um, not really giving themselves to you in, a, in the way that is a fair exchange, you know? Not really actually giving you everything, just giving you surface stuff, okay? Worth waiting for. That is the Temperance card. Temperance is a card of being kind of patient, which Cancerians normally are anyway, but also being able to be, to have equilibrium. For just a few of you, some of this relates to your relationship with your father, because when you get the Emperor card, it's just always the case that there are one or two people where the, the emotional availability of their father is reflected in their choice of person for relationship or what's going on in those relationships. <laughs> nice. We get the Elven Knight, which is Divine Masculine for me. These are Brian and Wendy Fruit, the heart of the Fairy Oracle. That's for the Emperor. There's a lot, a lot of Divine Masculine in this reading, okay? So if you are a Cancerian, you may be stepping up yourself and taking real charge with the Emperor and being the one who's in control. But for many of you, the other person is stepping up. They're coming forward. They are taking a signal from you of either that you won't tolerate bad behaviour or that you are at the end of a certain cycle or rope with something. Then we get the joy of the future. Ding, ding, ring a ding, a ding, dong. This is a gorgeous card. And I actually want a third card for you and it's gonna be that one. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the other 
there's a lord and lady of the forest you get lord of the forest it's my other divine masculine card <sighs> woof okay let's have an oracle card for you and then we'll go over we'll do the extended it's going to be interesting yours has been interesting for quite a while actually i'll put the link in the comment section as well and pin it Oh, oh my god the truth be told someone takes off their mask and becomes transparent Woo! there is something within this scenario though that you do need to be careful of with pay attention to the red flags i will also have a look at pay attention to the red flags yes in the extended divine timing this has been going on for a while even if you haven't met this person yet or you've just met this person or you've only known them a few weeks or months the story of this goes back a long way that's why you've got those two tens okay interesting reading cancer right i'm going to scoot straight to the extended now and clarify these cards with oracle cards a second or even a third tarot pack and whatever else takes my fancy okay so the link's in the description box please do follow me on instagram gemstone tarot do like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon namaste